What is up guys, welcome back to another play review. Today we're gonna be looking at second inform Aubameyang, but why hasn't EA increased his fucking pace for two inf throughout two informs now, I think? So, he begins with the non-inform 95 pace, inform 95 pace, second inform 95 pace. I swear EA is against upgrading this guy's inform, even though this guy is amazingly fast in real life. Do you think he should be like 99 pace, 98 pace? At least upgrade his pace, EA. Don't upgrade it where it doesn't matter. But he is a right winger or a right midfielder. It doesn't matter. So his non-inform is a striker. His inform is a right midfielder and his second inform is a right midfielder. So if you've tried the non-inform, you must have really enjoyed using him or something like that because he plays in the central role. But is he as good as a right forward, right wing or right midfielder? That is what we're going to find out. If you guys are looking for a cheap, reliable place to get you coin, check out battle.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code ETON to get 5% off. Now, let's pretty much begin this shit. Basically, all I have to say about him is... Second inform Aubameyang as a right forward, that's where I tried him at. He is going to be useful when you're crossing the ball to Mandzukic. That is pretty much it. Um, cutting in, it can be a bit stiff because he only has 80 dribbling, which I didn't have much of a problem with his non-informed dribbling in the central role. But as a right forward, I think it's more important for the guy to have at least a bit of dribbling. And Aubameyang doesn't exactly have that. He is a decent dribbler, just nothing amazing. It's just kind of hard, you know, to uh, cut in with him. He's also a very good finisher in the penalty area. Very hard to stop at full sprint speed. Powerful shot and decent long shots from that right-hand side. But finesse shot-wise, you're not going to be able to do any unless you're doing it with his right foot. Because with his left foot, he only has that three-star weak foot. And sometimes it can be very, very unfair annoying is also sometimes out of position he tries to be a center attacking midfielder for for most of the match and also he feels better in the central role like i said not as useful as his non-inform you're going to be paying more money for less basically and he has that three star weak foot and three star skills this is what was annoying about him basically he was only useful for me when i wanted to cross it to manzukic and i just didn't rely on him i just couldn't rely on him just being able to cut in because he kind of felt a bit stiff when I was just turning with him and it just made things hard but when he was playing an essential role he was a w just way more effective and he kept scoring me goals as a right forward goals not many assists maybe more but that is all there is to it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I'd really appreciate your like so do I recommend second inform Aubameyang no save your money and just get the non-inform if you want some sweatiness in your team but as a right forward you could just get him for a very fast winger that can cross it to your target man. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a very nice day.